Hello, and welcome back to Storytime with Little Sasha. Today's story is Skeleton for Dinner, written by Marjorie Cullery and illustrated by Will Terry and magically read by me, Little Sasha. One day, Big Witch and Little Witch decided to brew a stew. They used all of their favorite ingredients, shark fins and snake skin, spider silk and centaur's milk, catfish whiskers and banshee blisters. Big Witch took a taste. This is so yummy, she said. Let's invite our friends for dinner. What fun, said Little Witch. I'll make a list. Hmm, ghost, ghoul, and skeleton. <laughs> we must have skeleton for dinner. Just then, skeleton was clickety clacketing up the hill. <gasps> As he reached the top, he saw Little Witch's list perched up on the tree. He heard what the big witch said to Little Witch. I think they want to have me for dinner, cried Skeleton. Oh, I don't want to be eaten. His bones began to quake and shake. Before the witches saw him, he rat-a-bat tatted down the hill and jiggled, jingled as fast as he could to ghost. The witches want me in their stew, and they want to eat you, too, he screeched. Oh, no, wailed Ghost as she floated after Skeleton. They scooted by the graveyard where Ghoul was shoveling dirt. Where are you going in such a hurry, he asked. The witches want us in their stew, and they want to eat you, too, said Skeleton. Yikes, shouted Ghoul. Let's go hide. And he dashed after the others. Back on the hill, Little Witch said, I'm off to invite our friends to dinner. And away she flew. But back at Skeleton she went. She noticed that he was nowhere to be found. Back at Ghost, she thought, maybe I'll check there. But she didn't see anyone at Ghost's house either. Hmm, I bet they're all at Ghoul's, thought Little Witch. She zoomed to the graveyard. It was as quiet as the moon. Where is everybody? said Little Witch. How can I invite our friends for dinner if they've all disappeared? She flew back to the top of the hill. I couldn't find anybody at home, she told the Big Witch. I guess we'll have to eat our stew all by ourselves. And I was really looking forward to our pretty party. She took down the sign and began to cry. Crow flew down and picked it up. Oh, I think I know what's wrong, he called, and off he flew, flapping his wings. He went to skeletons, no skeleton. He went to ghost, no ghost. He went to ghouls, no ghoul. And then he saw footprints leading into the woods. He followed them to a big tree up up, up, he flew. What are you doing here? Asked Skeleton. I came to tell you that the witches want you to come for dinner. Hey, you mean they want to eat us for dinner? Said Skeleton. Oh no, that means that they want to invite you for dinner. Oh, said Skeleton. Well, that's different from what I thought. I'm hungry. Let's go. So Skeleton, Ghost, and Ghoul came down from the tree. They picked some poison ivy to take to the witches for their stew. 
When they got to the top of the hill, the witches were so happy to see them. Their faces lit up like jack-o'-lanterns. Have a seat, shouted Little Witch, and we'll give you a treat, said both witches together. Oh, it looks so yummy, said Skeleton, that I wish I had a tummy. And they all had fun eating the witch's stew together. The end. Thanks for reading with me. If you want to stay up to date, hit subscribe and share the story if you liked it. And tell all your friends. Thanks. Happy Halloween. Bye.